Hello, everyone, and welcome to our on-demand webinar on how to prepare your holiday marketing in 2019. Today, we're going to be talking holiday marketing and how to increase your sales and conversion during one of the most competitive times of year. So before we get into it, let's get real for a second. The holidays are often dubbed the most wonderful time of the year. But for those of us here, it has the potential to instill months of stress, planning, auditing, testing, and building campaigns and initiatives. With so many businesses relying on holiday sales, it's time for marketing and e-commerce folks to step up to the plate and battle with their competitors. But it's not only marketers who find the holiday period stressful. Gift shopping remains one of the biggest pain points of the holidays. Most consumers begin researching gifts months ahead of the season, but still buy at the last possible moment. According to a report published by PayPal, the majority, 59% of Americans, find holiday shopping to be so stressful that they'd rather do a multitude of unenviable activities instead. One in five baby boomers and Gen Xers would rather go to the dentist than find a present. And 19% of millennials would rather text with their boss over the weekend. Let's unpick why consumers are so stressed when it comes to gift shopping. Research has already been done that explains what happens here and why a potentially pleasant experience is turned into a source of stress. 29% of shoppers say that there's too much to choose from online, while 24% say that online stores don't provide enough product information and support to make selecting the right gift simpler. In other words, consumers are suffering from a pretty bad case of choice paralysis. What I mean by this is, consumers feel like they're faced with too much choice, too much noise. They begin overanalyzing, overthinking, and in the end they feel incapable of taking any action. Choice paralysis is very real, and the consequences can have far-reaching impact across your business, especially if you rely on a sales bump during the holiday period. It's simple. Customers who can't find what they're looking for don't buy, meaning they don't convert. Let's take a look at a common example. I'm feeling generous this year and my father has decided that he would like to try and get into photography as a New Year's resolution. So I start looking for the right camera for a beginner. Like most consumers, I go to the biggest marketplace I know, type in cameras, and I'm faced with over 150,000 results. It would be hard enough if I was buying for myself as a beginner but it's even more difficult to buy for another person with zero knowledge. And the way to filter looks at brands, colors, and technical specifications like Aperture and Zoom. The likelihood is I'm going to abandon this journey. Fundamentally, there's a disconnect between the expectations consumers have and the experience that brands provide. And this isn't a problem that's confined to the holidays or exists in just one industry. Consumers aren't product experts and don't speak the same language as brands and retailers. The common ways of filtering a product selection to a short list of goods isn't good enough. And it's just not doing the job it needs to. Which is pretty surprising when the latest research suggests that 96% of marketers and e-commerce folks recognize that simplifying the customer journey and decision-making process is vital. So we acknowledge there's a problem, but most brands haven't cracked it yet. And here's a pretty hefty number. 71% of consumers have admitted to switching to a competitor that provides a better customer experience. During the holiday period, that number is likely to be even higher thanks to the congestion in the marketplace. To summarize, consumer expectations skyrocket massively during the holidays as they are targeted with more products, are faced with more targeted advertising and email marketing than the rest of the year. So how do you stand out? They demand intuitive experiences that recognize their increased need for convenience. They want the easiest route to purchase. And this one's crucial. The experience is integrated so they can pick up where they left off during the research phase. But how big is gift re retailing actually worth? If you believe the latest numbers, 
$475 billion by 2024. Let's look at some numbers a little closer to home. Let's say your gross holiday sales revenue is $180,000, generating just over 10 million with an average order value of $60. Maybe you sell makeup, candles, apparel. If we apply that 71% dropout rate when consumers are not finding what they're looking for, that 29% tail represents a potential loss of almost over seven and a half million dollars in holiday revenue. If you can capture even 10 or 20%, it's a huge gain. The same numbers can be applied to a higher average order value company. Let's say $150. Maybe you sell cameras like the previous example. At the same transaction volume, you could be missing out on almost 20 million in holiday revenue, which obviously helps boost profitability in sales for the year. Here's how you get ahead. First of all, make gift shopping fun and stress-free for everyone. Secondly, lower your shopper's struggle in choosing the right present. And finally, analyze how people choose different gifts and relate these findings back to the marketing strategies. The gifting industry depends largely on social trends and consumer research is vital. It can shed light on key points that make the difference between commercial success and failure. So where do you focus? We know there is massive competition in the marketplace during the holidays, but if you can create a customer experience that remedies the stresses and concerns of consumers, you're onto a solution that will drive more sales. At Zuvu, we think that you should focus on solving the I want moment, the point in time when consumers want to make a purchase. The reason we encourage brands to look at this form of conversational marketing is that it fundamentally brings human engagement to the process of gift buying across all your digital channels. And solving the I want moment helps increase engagement across all your channels, so no silos. Fundamentally, you're helping shoppers choose the most relevant product, no matter where they are. You're taking the personalization and advice that consumers crave the sort of assistance you would expect from someone in store and making it available across your digital shopping channels as well. And now to the fun part. So the way you can do this is by deploying a Zulu digital assistant that can be integrated across your website, mobile, chatbot, and emerging, emerging technologies like voice assistants, and even in store in the form of kiosks. It offers brands and retailers of all sizes to create data-driven customer experiences which delivers on human engagement and conversion simply by asking questions. So here are some of the benefits up for grabs. Whether you're looking to do any number of these initiatives, or if you're like most retailers and brands that I speak with, you're probably actively looking to achieve at least half of them. A digital assistant can help you achieve your goals both in and out of the holiday period. Hey, don't just take my word for it. Guiding people through the gift buying process sees major results. This interactive conversational approach increases conversion by 253%, engagement by 76%, and customer satisfaction as it eases the shopper's path to suitable gift inspirations. Gift finders will engage your shoppers in a conversation, asking a few questions about the gift recipient's personality, and immediately provides them with gifting ideas helping even the most indecisive gift shopper on their way to the perfect gift in a pain-free way. So let's take a look at two of the best assistants to inspire you for the holidays. At Zuvu, we've been working with KitchenAid for a while now to help them humanize the online purchasing experience and provide a superior customer experience to its competitors. KitchenAid actually has numerous assistants to guide customers to the perfect mixer, mixing accessories, and coffee machines. Buying a KitchenAid product is, considered, is a considered purchase. They typically retail at three figures, and a relatively high portion of KitchenAid products are bought as gifts. So how do you know you're making the right decision? Well, with a digital assistant, the process is much easier to take away the stress involved. So you can ensure that your mom, sister, or husband, or whoever is going to get the best possible gift that they'll love. So how do we help KitchenAid do that? 
The website visitor is asked a series of easy to understand questions that interprets the priorities and preferences of the consumer and matches the perfect product. Questions like, what is most important? Is it color? Extendability? What would you like to do with your mixer? How many people do you cook for? Or what amounts are you looking to make using your mixer? But the benefits don't stop at the consumer. KitchenAid can also benefit from the insights fed through the digital assistant, like interaction pattern, product preferences, and sales data can be fed back into the organization to inform areas like R&D on which products to invest more in, or what consumer groups are displaying behavior for better marketing and retargeting. We also work with Canon on several assistants to help their consumers find what they're looking for. Let's take the example I used earlier on, where I was trying to find a camera for my father but couldn't find what I was looking for. With a Zuvu digital assistant, Canon have been able to instantly translate their technical specifications into human language so they can have a needs-based conversation with their consumers. So you can forget language like aperture, focal length, and zoom. Instead, you see things like, are you a beginner? This is how I want to connect my camera. This is a nice to have. The result is higher engagement and conversion. But humanizing your digital assistant is not just for the holidays, even though there's clearly a huge advantage to be gained. When planning the launch of a digital assistant, you don't want to fall foul by leaving it too late. By starting now, you can get ahead of the holiday rush. Start experimenting with where to place your assistant. Which of your product categories would best benefit from an assistant? Learn more about your consumers and optimize the Q&A flow so it's perfect in time for the holidays. Match with the revenue up for grabs I covered earlier. This helps you build your business case now. And the same formula can be used to look at revenue uplift per month or per quarter. I want to share another example of a brand that has been using a Zuvu Digital Assistant for a number of years now. Trek is a bike manufacturer that sells to consumers through their website to deliver insights while helping them choose the right product to reduce returns. What Trek learned through their digital assistant was no surprise. It turned out that those using the digital assistant were beginners or novice riders, the exact segment that they were hoping to engage and convert more. This is super important for Trek because if you can convert a customer in their early stage of cycling, they're more likely to stick with Trek as the brand that provided the ultimate customer experience. At Trek, customers were spending around 15 to 20 seconds looking at the top line information on a product page before clicking off. Compare that to those who utilize a digital assistant, who spent on average three to four minutes because they felt more compelled to buy the product that actually matched them. One of the other things that Track learned in their first few weeks after they launched their assistant was that the first question they were asking was actually putting consumers off and they were seeing high dropouts. That's because the question, how rad do you want to get, may be perfectly pitched for experienced bikers, but not for beginners. Zuvu's proprietary AI picked up on this and suggested that the language of the question was amended to work as it should. So Track refined the question to, how do you want to ride on trails? A question that riders of any level could understand. Again, this goes back to why it's advantageous to launch your digital assistant in advance of the holidays to refine and correct instances like this. I hope that it's pretty clear by now that digital assistants can help you sell more and increase engagement, especially during the busy holiday period. But if you want to supercharge your assistant to work even harder for you, this is how. Drive more traffic by showcasing how you assist consumers and make gift giving easier. Clients who promote their assistance on their emails, apps, social media are able to convert up to three times more traffic by driving more users. You can also promote your digital assistant through retargeted advertising. So if you see a high portion of users who try to self navigate but ultimately abandon, rather than retargeting with an offer, retarget with the assistance they need to take the stress out of the gift giving experience. That's how to drive more traffic. What about converting more traffic that comes on your site? Showcase your assistant on your homepage or category page to increase engagement and completion. You can even add it to your menu navigation. 
Some of our clients even have behavior rules in place that analyze if a consumer appears to be struggling to make a purchase decision or is at risk of abandonment to serve a pop-up asking if they would like to use an assistant to help. And to dispel a common myth, a digital assistant isn't just for your website. Assistants can be integrated into your chatbot, voice assistants, and even in-store kiosks. So wherever your shopper is, you can help solve the I want moment, increase engagement, and drive more sales. And the results speak for themselves. Zuvu clients see a 67% increase in click-through rate, an average order uplift of 10%, a conversion uplift of 107%, and drive three times more qualified leads, all thanks to AI-powered conversational marketing. Our platform translates technical jargon into human language in seconds to create conversations that help you convert confused shoppers into confident buyers. And Zuvu doesn't just ask one question after the next. It enables dynamic, adaptive, and contextual conversations across all your channels. So you can engage your consumers and help them find what they're looking for across your website, your chatbot, in store, and on voice assistance, and also integrate it into your e-commerce platform. Zuvu can be used totally self-service, or if you don't want to do any of the lifting, we have implementation teams to help you get live in days. We have 500 plus templates available, a drag and drop navigation, and an intuitive conversational builder, builder. So whether you're a Fortune 500 enterprise or a small business with limited marketing budget, Zuvu provides the opportunity for digital assistance to be attainable, regardless of size, industry, or target audience, with no dedicated IT costs or resources necessary. In addition to that, our clients also gain access to consumer insights, product preferences and performance, along with insights into your Q&A flow so you're, you know you're always asking the right questions to get the right outcomes and insights. So questions like, what do consumers care about? What are the questions that convert? Which product is selling and why? These are all easy to answer and report on. Millions of consumers interact with a Zuvu digital assistant every day. And we work with more than 500 businesses from SMBs to Fortune 500. For more information, go to Zuvu.com and check out some live digital assistant examples. Thank you so much for joining this on-demand webinar today. I hope this helps you prepare your business for the upcoming holidays. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at Zuvu.com.